Dry eyes is something that has been studied and debated for decades, um, especially when it comes to looking at refractive surgery and what options we have. It is true that in the immediate period after surgery, most patients experience more dryness than they had before surgery. That is with LASIK or with a similar procedure called PRK or surface ablation. Uh, but what we have found is that the vast majority of patients return to their baseline level within 6 to 12 months, even if they're the slow healers. Most patients return to their baseline level within the first one to two months. Having severe dry eye that is not manageable medically may preclude you from LASIK. It may push you to being a better candidate for a different type of surgery. But we do have many things we can use now to manage and improve dry eye treatments. One of the parts of the initial consultation is to determine whether or not you have dry eye, how severe it is, and whether or not we need to initiate treatment prior to doing surgery on you. So dry eye is not a reason to avoid getting a consultation. That's part of the consultation process to determine what may be best for you. And for many, many patients, even with some dry eye symptoms, which is very common in the Los Angeles area, we can still do safe, effective treatment and not increase your problems with dry eyes afterwards.